I, Stephanie Bain, Stephanie Bain, I have a books, 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 I, I, I'm a book addict. There's so many books. <laughs> Hello everyone, Stephanie here, and today I'm going to be showing you all of the books uh, that I purchased. I shouldn't have, but I literally, I could not stop buying this month. It's become an issue. Uh, do I plan to stop? No. To have space on my TBR portions of my shelves? No. So, you know, I'm going to have to make this work somehow. I need to buy a new bookshelf. You know, I'm all over the place when it comes to my books right now. So I'm just going to show you them. And also, this is in no particular order. And this is all everything I've just purchased in the month of February. Not from January, no, no, this is just February. And one of them I already showed to you, so I'm not going to show them. That's Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies. Anyway, let's get on to the actual video stuff for me. So the first book I have here is becoming a movie this year. Well, it's already a movie. It's supposed to be released this year. I had heard things about it. It's one of those kind of like hush-hush and other series where people are like, oh, it's not really good. I don't know. I think I want to say my, friend, my best friend Margarita did actually read this. I could be wrong. Sorry, Margarita, if I am, but I think she liked the series. So I was like, I feel like reading it, and I got it really inexpensive on Amazon used marketplace, and that is Fallen by Lauren Kate. You know, sometimes you just need a really good love triangle. I don't know if it's a really good love triangle, but I decided to give it a go, and yeah, and I have to say the covers to these, like this series is actually like absolutely beautiful. I love that. Maybe it's just me, but I really like that. So first one. The next one I have here is something I don't remember what it's about, but I remember Reagan from Peru's Project talking about it, that it's like an underrated like fantasy series or something like that. I, again, I can't recall 100% what, what she said, but I remember reading the synopsis, really liking it, putting it on my Amazon wish list, went to Goodwill and found it there for $1.50, and that is Orson Scott Card's book called Pathfinder. Don't remember what it's about, again, because I have issues. I put it on my list actually like at the end of last year or something like that, but I got it and it's really pretty and I can't wait to get to it because I need to read more fantasy, but if I'm correct, this is a fantasy book. So, something about birthright, I keep reading that. I really don't know. Oh, science fiction, identity, psychic ability, time travel, ooh, sci-fi. Sci-fi makes me happy. I like sci-fi. The next book I have here is, which one did I randomly pick up? I did end up purchasing the sequel to The Fifth Wave, which is The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey. My wrap-up, you'll hear about it because I already read it and it was really good. But I, I could not resist. I literally read The Fifth Wave and I was like, I need to get the book. Like, two days later, I got the book. I stopped the book I was reading and I got this and I read it and it was great. And I'm, I, I don't regret, no regrets at all. Now I have to wait for the third book, though. And I did end up getting it in hardcover because I was like, oh, it's going to look so pretty with my other one. But you know why I like these a lot? They feel like the Red Rising series where it has like that really nice soft, oh, it, just, it feels so good. I have issues. The next book I have here, I'm really excited about because I've been needing to buy the sequel for so long and I finally got it and I'm really excited because it was the sequel to one of my favorite books last year and that is... The Mime Order by Samantha Shannon. I cannot wait to read this, but I do want to reread The Bone Season before I move on to this because I went through The Bone Season, at least for me, really, really quickly. And, you know, I love rereading, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go into The Mime Order. I can't wait to see what happens with this series. Oh, and then the third book's supposed to be coming, I think, this year. I don't know. But isn't it pretty, like... Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. This is the Dover Thrift Editions. I got it for like $2 and change on uh, eBay. And I'm just happy because I read Pride, Prejudice, uh, Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies by Seth Graham Smith. I really liked it. So eventually this year, I hope to read the regular Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. And it's not the cover that I ordered. It was supposed to be one with like flowers, but you know, they didn't do that. So you best believe I wrote them a bad review. If, like, you give me the cover I ordered, you know? The next book I have here is one that I hear people talking about all the time, and I was just like, you know what? I'm going to get it. And that is 
Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. I can't wait to read this and see what it's about. I know it's a fantasy in multiple point of views, if I'm correct. Other than that, I have no idea. None whatsoever. The cover is really awesome. I think there's like three more books after this. Rebel Spring Gathering Darkness, and I don't remember the other one. And then there's like a spinoff book. But um, I'm really excited to read this. I will be reading this eventually. This is one of those like I'm like really excited to get started. But I know I need to wait a little bit because I have a feeling it's going to be kind of one of those things where I started and then I'm not going to want to stop. So I'm going to need to buy the next books. And I've obviously been buying too many books as it is. What's the next book? Ooh, I know what the next book is. It is Morning Star by Pierce Brown. Obviously, I've already read it. Obviously, I got this the day it came out, which was February 9th. Obviously, it was amazing, and I'm just so happy. Oh, so sad, though, because it's over, but my review will be up soon. I finally decided to review it, but oh, it's so pretty, and it looks so pretty on the shelf with all of its, you know, its brothers. You're so beautiful. I have five more books left, so fifth to last one is another one I've heard amazing things about. It may be overhyped. I don't know. It was really inexpensive at BJ's and my mom was like, I was going to get it and then she ended up getting it for me and that is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. I like her name. That name's badass. But you know, I got the paperback. I don't know. I'm really, this is another one that I'm really excited to read. I know that the sequel has yet to come out because I think it was supposed to, oh, a torch against the night. So I'm really excited about it though. Like I really am. I do know that it has to do something with like a brother. I don't know. I just hear it's really great things. I think it's in two point of views. I'm not sure. It just says Leia is a slave. Elias is a soldier. Neither is free. So we'll see how I like this. You know. I'm excited. I saw a map. What? Oh the map's on the cover. I'm excited. I'm so excited. But what I'm really excited about are the last four books I have to show you. But it's also like I'm super excited and I'm really freaking pissed off all at the same time. You'll see why now. So, so you know, a, a few months ago, I don't even know exactly how long ago, the Mortal Instruments got a cover change and I love the new covers. And I was like, oh my god, they're so gorgeous. And I was like, oh my god, I should not get them. I already own the whole, whole series. I should not get them. But I was walking in Walmart, and if you guys follow me on Twitter, you would have already seen this dilemma story. But I went to Walmart, and I'm walking, and I was like, oh my god. Like, that's them. But the reason why I was just like, was because they're hardcover. They are the new in hardcover gorgeous I love it because they are hardcover I mean and you know what I love it the most though it doesn't have a slip cover that's what I mean it's oh, it's so pretty and they were only six dollars that day I found the books I had to go on a mission though because they only had the first four in the series but they're so pretty I couldn't leave them six dollars each that's cheaper than Walmart has the paperbacks which is nine dollars each and definitely I mean I know I could have gotten a box set but if I would have been able to get all six of them it still would have been ten dollars cheaper than having bought the box set of paperbacks but guess what I searched all over like I had gotten the first three and then I had only had the first three. I found out at like one of the Walmarts that is by me is by, yeah, whatever. I don't know. And then I went to another Walmart that was a little further and they had book one. I have this all out of order apparently. Oh, and then I got book one. But you know what freaking sucks? I have not been able to find book five or six. My favorite book and book six in hardcover so I'm probably gonna have to get them in paperback and you know what sucks even more that I'm gonna have to spend six more dollars just to buy them like oh, I'm so upset I really want them all in hardcover like these I don't even care about the infernal devices 
I have the first four in hardcover. Where? Where? When are you guys going to bring them out Walmart? Like, I've been to all of them. They don't even have them online. I've been, like, Googling them. Like, you know, Mortal Instruments, Walmart. Because literally, it's a Walmart exclusive thing. They don't have them anywhere other than Walmart. I thought I heard something. So I'm having a serious issue. And the thing is, is not even on their website do they have these listed. <sighs> so those are all of the books I have purchased. Some super necessary, some not as necessary. And then I've just, I have no excuses and no shame. I just don't have any space anymore. I am running out of space. I don't know what to do with my life. Like FMO. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have read a lot of books, have purchased a lot of books, have gone to the library, because library halls are fun too. I just have a thing and I like to personally own books. It's an issue. But read on people, you know, have fun. And yeah, I think I'm totally done rambling about books. And the fact that I don't have the last two of the new Moral Instrument covers in hardcover. And I'm going to have to get them in paperback. Not cool. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Totally just hit my hand on that. Kind of hurt my nail.